Okay guys, so we talked about um, a few things in our past video. The first one was if you go to rosters, you can create report groups. The second thing was if you head to assess and teach, you can scaffold comprehension skills for reading for those testing grades. And the third thing we talked about was creating uh, the prerequisite skills for math and that data and how it's acquired through iReady. So this time we're gonna talk about um, the different resources that you can use to kind of um, assess what they have and push them to uh, get further along in math. Okay, so we'll be talking about two separate resources. The first one is in iReady. The only drawback with the iReady is that it is currently a program that is a pilot. So grades one and two, uh, this part of the video is for you. So you're gonna head to assessment after you head to assess and teach, and you can use the comprehension checks through math. Okay, this can be used as an exit ticket. Notice that there are two of them. So basically it'll show you if the students don't really understand it, when you assign it to them, you can always assign it the B part to them. It's simple, it's five quick questions, and it's about a, one separate skill, okay? There are four small apples. And it reads it to the student. The student would scroll down and choose the correct answer. And there are five of them. Very quick. And you Find could just use them. Plus one. Put your answer in the box. It's very simple, very straightforward. You would press um, the check button on the side. And then you would go to assign comprehension checks. Again, this is a pilot program for the first and second grade. If we are in a new year and the whole district adopts this, this would be very helpful for all grades. Um, but currently it is only for grades one and two, okay? So you could even use um, kindergarten to supplant information that the students have, and that would be super helpful. Okay, our second resource is for um, teachers with grades three and four and five. Okay, um, even actually six, seven, and eight. So for those teachers right now, you don't have that pilot program, and this is the resource you can use that would help you. Um, it would be our very first <laughs> result. Um, it's called Common Core Sheets. It's perfect for math, and if you've used this before, kudos. If you don't, and you've never used this before, it's a pretty awesome tool. It's a free website and they basically run off of donations, so I would totally donate. Um, to become a member of this website, it's 100% free. And to do that, um, we're gonna scroll past these. We're gonna get back to this in a minute, but let's scroll past, past them. So you're gonna scroll past all the other content areas they have and we're gonna go to teacher panel. So if you go to my account, notice my information's already here. You would press the green button and you would create an account. It's free to create. Once you create it, you're going to be uh, met with this. You're going to create a class. You can name it whatever room you want, and you would just make sure that it's active. Okay. Um, my details tell you your name. Security tells you uh, the password. The third one is all the distance learning assignments that you can give the students. If I here, if I hit open, it'll actually give me the name of the student. It'll give me the day that I gave it to the student and it'll even give me how many they got wrong and how many they got right. So this was just a sample to show you guys. And last but not least, log out. That's just if you need to, well, log out. Okay, so once you log in, you're not gonna see that teacher panel at the top again. That has to be accessed all the way down at the bottom. But once you do log in, it should be up here at the top. That's how you know that you're logged in. All right, so we have four different options. Okay, you can choose one of these skills that are with math. And next to each one, there's a standard. So we're gonna pick multiplication and notice that this guy is blue because this is grade two. This guy's three, because he's grade three. This guy's four, because this would be worksheets that would talk about four. And all of these are PDFs. So you can basically um, select the worksheet, grab them all, or you can just grab one, download one, and add it to ClassKick. Again, this website's 100% free. Okay, red standards. 
or uh, fifth grade standards that they should know and so on and so on and so on okay our second option if this is kind of confusing you and you really don't know how to sift it and you just want to target one standard you can sort that by grade here if you click sort by grade you get all the kindergarten standards all the way to the eighth grade they're broken up by their mathematical strands okay so if you head um we're just going to do fifth grade as an example and we can go to numbers and base 10 operations it shows you all the standards and notice an oblong shape keeps um outlining each standard that means it's clickable so you're going to click that guy it's going to show you all that stuff and all the activity sheets that it has supplanting that very skill that you need to touch all the students. Okay, you can go to select the worksheet, download it, add it to class kick. Say you don't want to make an entire worksheet about this and you want to mix it up. Well, there's options for that too. So I would go to the top and I would go to the third option, which is create a test or daily reviews creator. Either one of these are basically the same. Um, create a test is only gonna create one, cre uh, one question. So you can go to sort by topic and you can pick the topic like over here. Or if you pick a kind um, of the grade, you can choose the standard that goes with that. The only difference between create a test and daily reviews creator is that if you click daily reviews creator, instead of one question, you make five. So basically you would have one for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. Now, um, this is pretty much your buttons and what you're working with here. Uh, this green guy right here creates a new question. The red dude deletes the question and the yellow one makes a copy of the question that you had before. So if I just choose um, the topic of area and perimeter and I'm talking about finding area, I can press the yellow guy and he makes a direct copy of it. Okay, kind of saves you time if you don't wanna just press the green button and find and do all this clicking stuff to get back to area and perimeter, you can just press the yellow guy and just change the skill and mix it up however you want. Okay. Now, if you're given a question and you're not 100% thrilled with the answer, you'd be like, oh, this is too easy. You can just click it. If you just click it with your mouse, it'll change the numbers and change the question completely. I don't like this one, I think it's too easy. I'm gonna click this to make it harder, okay? And it's completely at random and you can make it how you want. All right. So now when you come down to the bottom, you're done making your three um, questions. You can go to shuffle, this can be checked or not, that's up to you. Um, you can go to worksheet, which would make a physical PDF. And notice there's three questions for Monday three questions for Tuesday, three questions for Wednesday, three questions for Thursday, and three questions for Friday. Now, if you scroll all the way down, you're gonna have an answer key and for each one of those sheets in addition. And what's really cool is you have a little grader down here at the corner. So if you wanna physically give the students this sheet, you, you may, you could totally do that. Okay, and then they have all this work, uh, this area to solve the questions that they're given. Right? And this would basically be given as a do now, if anything, for the whole week that you can give to the students. Okay, so that is how you create a physical worksheet. You just press the little yellow button down at the bottom and it makes the PDF. Now, you can make digital worksheets as well. You would click distance learning and you could just leave that blank if you want to. Um, you put down the week that it would be April. because it's gonna be basically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I would just go to create learning distance assignment.
Okay guys, how do we get this link to our students? For the younger grades, it's really easy to do this. We're gonna click it with the right key and we're gonna kind of copy link. You could send it to your Zoom chat or we can go to Clever. So we're gonna show you how to do that really quick. Let's do that. Okay, once you're in Clever, you're gonna log in and you're gonna go to that page where you have all your special links like I do. And up at the top, it says create teacher announcement. You're gonna click teacher announcement and you can send it directly to the students that way. It comes up as a clickable link. Now, over here shows you the views of the students that have looked at it and if they commented at all. The minute they log into their Clever, this they will be greeted with this and they would just click that link and they can start and begin. This is what they're met with the very first time, okay? Um, and every time after, they could type in their name. We're just gonna type in sample, student, and they would start the assignment. Notice it says they could select the day, okay? We would select Monday, and boom, there's our question right there. And you would ask them to put the information in their notebooks. So again, this would be super helpful for them and they could um, solve it and you get that data immediately. So I'm gonna put in the data right now. So I got this one right, I got this one wrong, got this one right. Okay, so now you as the teacher would automatically get that data. You would have to go to my account and you can get to distance learning assignments or you could choose this guy right here. And this is the one we just created I would go to open, sample student. He got one right, and he got the third one right. The second one is what he got wrong, and you would get that grade, and you can then use that grade. As a do now, you could use it towards your assessments, or if you wanna use it as a graded classroom assignment. Again, this tool is meant to be a workaround for the teachers that don't have the iReady pilot program as yet. All right, I hope you found this helpful. This is a really cool, um, website and the fact that now it has distance learning assignments with it it's actually even awesomer so um we're gonna um pretty much end it right now and um i think our next video is gonna be talking mainly about zoom